if somebody were to come up to you and say, what do you envision yourself as? I mean, bosses do it all the time. Who are you? What are you? What are your goals? Give me your five to 10 year plan. Who are you in that vision that you have painted on the inside of your core? Who are you? The toughest part about that is trying to live out what we do envision. The personal expectations aren't being met by determination. And what do we do? We blame it. We blame it on big businesses for torturing our ambitions. Yet we've given up on so many personal visions. It's become too easy to fit in. You know what I'm talking about here? We just want to fit in. I'm going to work here for a moment to level things out just a bit. And when the time is right, I'm going to reach for a greater level of productivity. The race to the top features the footwork of not the best in the business, but rather those who have said, hmm, I'm going to sacrifice my soul. I don't care how many hours I put in. Yeah, I- I'm going to get to the top because when I'm up there, I won't have as much work to do because everybody else will be doing it for me. We've been there. We live it every single day. Those who can take time and do things with it that others say, ah, it's too painful. The thought of working in those hours and on those schedules is something that many of us have set aside. A very successful company is always looking for newer ways to cut back. It doesn't matter how challenged those on board are. Less always means more. When trying to live out what we envision, our ambitions are stuffed into a box. It's easier to just fit in. There's no such thing as a nine to five job anymore. We work whatever they're willing to give or whatever they're willing to expand. And no matter what, if somebody doesn't show up, you're putting in the time. It doesn't matter what your personal life is. You're putting in the time. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. It's not a negative thought here. It's about awareness. It's about saying, yeah, that's what I do. I just fit in. And and, and why do I just fit in? Because I don't want the stress that they've got. I, I, I can't. And yet your leadership qualities are sitting right there where you're fitting in. Decisions that need to be made are right there where you decided to fit in when they could be up here. But it's the way that people are treated and the expectations from those above them that keeps you from saying, okay, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm okay. I'm just going to fit in. This is the Daily Mess. I try never to come to these pages holding on to something negative because I believe inside my soul that winning is a choice. And the sad part about that is, is that negative is no different. Although the feeling might be present, it doesn't mean that it has to be lived out. It's not like a light switch where you can just turn it on, turn it off. Uh, uh-uh. It doesn't work that way. Nor can you wish your negative energy away because it's weight. It's got a sound about it. The ambition is to identify what is negative. Don't give it any fuel. Even in weakness, it has that voice. But how loud will it play in your heart? I write every morning. The very reason why I sit down the very second I get up, because I need to get into my head and heart and clear things out. Not clean, but rather clear things out. I need to have a fresh new beginning. I don't always wake up in a great mood, nor do I expect to. I have to move through multiple moments of dark thoughts, knowing that being open with reality will always win over assumption. And things that will change will be met with a stronger soul. But here we are, with life moving so quickly that I guarantee whatever thoughts are going through your head right now, they will be long forgotten in one hour, maybe even two. Fitting in. We would love to find that one place where we can make the money, have the workplace success. But we've chosen to fit in. Oh, I'm guilty of that. My radio career took a spin when I said, man, I'm I'm tired of coming to work feeling like I'm going to get fired every day because that's what it is. It's all about the ratings. And if you don't have the ratings, well, you're not making money for the radio station. So I feared for 26 years. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, Why? Why? Last month it was we were number one. This month we're number five. How, How is that possible? And you fear and you fear and you fear. So I got into the production room, creating commercials, doing imaging. 
because I didn't want to have that stress anymore. So I decided to fit in. And now, several years later, now that I'm not in the industry of radio or terrestrial radio, it's a different story when it comes to podcasting. In my heart, it's still broadcasting. It's reaching you. But who I was in radio is not who I am today. And that's why I'm trying to share with you that fitting in can be comfortable or maybe a little bit of discomfort, but it's time to step through. You have learned things in your life and on your journey that needs to put things in place. You see how people are treated. You see how others are making their way to the top without making the stop, without getting the experience that is required in finding proper success. I love me some American Idol, America's Got Talent, The Voice. I love it. I love it. But what musicians don't love about those shows They haven't put in the guts and the pain to be on that stage. You got a beautiful voice, but you didn't put in the time. You understand where I'm coming from now? You have put in the time, and we both fit in. And you wonder where your ambition is. You wonder where your drive is. Because if you give too much of your drive and too much of your voice, those above you are going to look down on you. They're not always inspired by your personal moments. Let's unlock the door from being a fitter inner and let's find our place where we have a voice. I'm Arrow and that's The Daily Mess.